The results of last year's wireless initiative proposal are now being seen in buildings on campus. Fraser Hall and Wesco Hall now offer wireless internet in all classrooms and public areas. KUJH TV's Courtney Johnston tells us when other campus buildings will have wireless access. By the end of May, nearly all academic buildings on campus will be 100% wireless. The wireless capability did not come cheap, however. Student Senate committed $1.3 million for the project last February, and the university agreed to match that amount. And now, almost a year later, students and faculty are seeing the results. It, it seems pretty fast to me. I mean, it's maybe not as fast as what I've got at home, but it's pretty close. In addition to providing 700 new wireless access points, the funds for the project help upgrade 200 existing points. But even though all educational buildings on campus will be equipped with wireless internet access, there are still some places officials are trying to bring hotspots to. There's a definitely a, an interest in expanding wireless coverage into the residence halls, both uh, those on Daisy Hill and also the scholarship halls. Um, how that's going to happen and who will pay for it, those conversations are yet to, to be had. Five more buildings, including Strong Hall and Malott Hall, will have wireless internet by the end of January. Courtney Johnston, KUJH TV News.